Legislation is moving forward to consolidate or eliminate as many as 60 state agencies, boards and commissions. Supporters say it will save taxpayers money and streamline government. Opponents worry fewer boards means fewer voices participating in the process. In this It's Your Government segment, we look at the ongoing efforts to pare down state government. I assume that we do not yet have a quorum. This month, the Oklahoma Film and Music Advisory Board meeting was over before it could even start. Are we expecting a quorum? I don't believe so. Without a quorum, no official business could be conducted. The Film and Music Board is one of more than 500 agencies, boards and commissions listed in the state's ABC directory. Before the legislative session began, Governor Mary Fallon asked her cabinet to recommend which agencies, boards and commissions could be eliminated or consolidated to streamline state government. In her State of the State address, the governor called on lawmakers to make cutting or consolidating agencies, boards and commissions a priority. Now Oklahoma has hundreds of advisory boards and commissions and agencies created by law over decades. Many are outdated and duplicative. They need to be reduced. Lawmakers are considering a number of bills to consolidate dozens of boards and commissions that advise state agencies. There are also bills to flat out eliminate some agencies, boards and commissions or have their functions taken over by another agency. The Film and Music Board's role could be taken over by the Department of Tourism. The Fire Ant Research and Management Committee is up for elimination because it hasn't met in years. The Office of Volunteerism could be abolished since its duties are already handled by the Office of Emergency Management. And lawmakers could decide to eliminate the Spaceport Territory Advisory Council because it hasn't met since 2004. Republican State Representative David Dank says he votes in favor of most consolidation measures. I think a lot of it doesn't hurt anything. It's just like, you know, kissing your sister. I mean, it just, you know, it doesn't mean anything. But Dank has also led efforts to put a bill to consolidate the Liquid Petroleum Gas Advisory Board with the Corporation Commission on hold. It doesn't need to be under the Corporation Commission. It's a well-run, uh, not state-appropriated agency that does one fantastic job for the people it serves, and I don't want to get rid of it. The largest consolidation bill pairs down the number of boards and commissions advising the state health department from 40 to just eight. The bill calls for future board appointments to come from the governor, house speaker, Senate President Pro Tem, and the State Board of Health instead of industry associations. Oklahoma Association for Home Care and Hospice Executive Director Annette Mays says that makes some industry associations uncomfortable. It definitely does affect the process of appointment um, and that could be one of the, um, the concerns that several of the boards uh, would have and I, it was one of my concerns as well. Consolidating state health department advisory boards and commissions calls for two boards representing May's industry, the Home Health Advisory Board and the Hospice Advisory Council, to be absorbed into a new committee called the Long-Term Care Advisory Council. The boards actually met um, the same month, but they met on two different days. And so this would allow the same meetings to occur quarterly. However, the state employees that attend those meetings regularly would just attend one per quarter as opposed to two different ones. State Representative Jason Murphy chairs the House Government Modernization Committee. He says fewer meetings and fewer advisory boards and commissions will save the state money. And we know from just the health department consolidations alone, we can expect around $350,000 to be saved each and every year. Representative Murphy says consolidating or eliminating boards and commissions advising other state agencies will likely result in much smaller savings. With other consolidations, you know, there will be probably in the hundreds of dollars of savings with each consolidation. Representative Paul Wesselhoff led the fight that defeated rolling the Office of Disability Concerns into the Department of Rehabilitative Services. The Office of Disability Concerns, there are only five or six employees in that little agency. It has the smallest budget. It's very effective, efficient. It's at Shepherd Mall, which is very accessible for people with wheelchairs. And now they wanted to bust this agency up and put half of it in one big agency and the other half in another agency. And I just think, didn't think that was a smart thing to do. Representative Dank believes a lot of this year's effort to consolidate agencies, boards, and commissions isn't about streamlining government or saving money. It's about politics. We're out here shooting mats with cannons. 
you know, we want to consolidate 50 to 100 agencies, a lot of which don't have any employees or not very many employees and don't require a lot of money or don't get state funds. But we want to be able to go home to our constituents and say, hey, look at us. We consolidated all these agencies. We're cutting back on government. Representative Murphy says if the consolidation and elimination bills pass, they won't save the state a significant amount of money, but he believes passage will make its operation more efficient.